हरे रामा हरे रामा 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 हरे 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 कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे हरे Hi guys, welcome to Story Time with me, S. Today I'm going to be reading the sixth chapter of the Krishna story, and it's very interesting. And you guys are going to really like it. And also, there's a poster here of Krishna and Radha and Gokula Vrindavana. And I'm also going to tell you we have an update. So, um, in my channel Story Time with me, S, we're going to be posting all different type of videos. So make sure to check them out. Let's start reading the book. Chapter six: The killing of Vatsasura and Bakasura. Those are the two de demons that we are going to be learning today. One day, fruit lady came down the road in front of Nanda Maharaj's house. She called out, "If anyone wants fruits, please come and take them from me." Little Krishna took some grains of rice in his hands, as he had seen the older people do, to exchange them for fruits. So yeah, that's what they do in the olden days. They would switch um things. So then, so little baby Krishna took some grains and went to give it to the lady. But since his hands were so tiny, he couldn't hold them all. So, but the lady, the fruit lady, was so sweet, sweet. Get it? Sweet. That she gave so many sweet mangoes and sweet oranges and different type of fruits to him, and he was so happy and he was so cute when he gave that. But his hands were quite small and he was not so careful to hold the grains very well. He dropped most of them as he walked. The Lord was so beautiful and charming that the fruit lady just filled his hands and arms with. As many fruits as the child could hold. So sweet, guys, sweet. Get it? So she, yeah. So um, since she was so charming and he looked so beautiful, she just filled his arms with as many fruits as the child could hold. When she looked back at her basket again, she saw that it had become filled miraculously with jewels. It's it's actually Krishna's doing because he is the supreme lord, and he changed the basket of mangoes and fruits into gold. I know that's so shocking. He has that power. He has the power of throwing light. He has the power of strength. Now he has the power of turning stuff into gold for good people, not bad people. Where there had only been fruits at a moment before, just by getting a few of her fruits, Lord Krishna had in turn given her a great fortune. So that lady is very lucky that um she was being nice to Krishna, and um Brahma is a destiny. He told Krishna to give her a good fortune. That's what he said. That's what he said. So yeah. He does what the destiny the destiny says of it. On another day, Lord Krishna was playing with Balarama and the other children on the bank of the Yamuna River. You guys know the Yamuna River, the sweetest water in the world. It's just just so cold, and I wish it still stands, but it doesn't. It does actually. Uh, I'm gonna have to visit there once. I'm gonna have to go there and swim as fast as I can, and just pray to the Yamuna. That's what I'm gonna do when I get there. And it's shocking that it still stands. It was late in the morning, so Balarama's mother Rohini went there to bring them back home. They just would not listen to her and continued playing. Mother Rohini went home alone and sent Mother Yashoda there to try to bring them home. So naughty Krishna and naughty Balarama, they were playing and having fun with their friends. But then Mother Rohini and Mother Yashoda comes and they're like, Krishna and Balarama, time to go home. And they're like, no, 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 stay here and play. That's what they want to do. And I would say that too. 
when I'm playing with my friends and my mom tells me it's time to go home for dinner. No, I don't. I don't. <laughs> Mother Yashoda said, it is already very late for your lunch. You must be hungry and tired from playing for so long. Balarama, my dear, the glory of your family, please come back with your young, young your younger brother Krishna immediately. So, or else I'm pretty sure they're going to be so angry because they're refusing to go home, me. They're refusing to go home. So, uh, their, their mothers are going to be very mad. Yep. And if I don't go home with my mom, nothing usually happens. I just keep playing. That's it. For the whole day. Just keep playing and playing, playing with, playing with my friends until they have to go home. And the picture. Until I continue. Picture. So here, Krishna, look at, look at him, look at him, look at him. He's just so cute with his glowing little body. And look, this is the lady here, the fruit lady, giving the mangoes and the oranges, all the fruits to him. And look, the gold, give me the gold. Uh, they're so lucky she gets gold, I want gold. See, like all the gold, all, like gems. It's so hard to find gems. And there's even pearls. I see some white stuff. Pearls, we can, they come from oysters. We, and they land in the ocean. Oysters are belong in the ocean. I want them. Give me the gold. If you guys have gold, give it to me, okay? Comment down below, I can give it to me, okay? If you don't, a spider will crawl, crawl on you tonight. You have been playing all morning. They've been playing like all early morning. And they still don't want to go home. I just come back. Just go in the afternoon and come back. And they play all the way from the morning. <laughs> come take your lunch at home. Your father Nanda Maharaj is waiting for you both. You must come back so he, so he can eat. As soon as Krishna and Balrama heard that Nanda Maharaj was waiting for them and could not take his food without them, they started to go home. Their other playmates cry. Why do they need to cry? They need to go home because they, they need to go home because they want to eat and their father is waiting for them. Why do they need to cry? They're not the only special friends there. Krishna, you are leaving just when we are having the most fun. Next time, we will not allow you to leave. In fact, next time, maybe we should not let you play with us again. If you are going to spoil everything by leaving so soon. Leaving so soon? Leaving so soon? They've been playing all the way early morning to the afternoon. To the evening. Which is so late. We're supposed to have their dinner by then. And they didn't, and they're literally, and now their friends are like, Krishna, we won't play with you anymore, because you're going home. Mm. They're angry on it. Naughty, naughty Krishna is not going to go home anymore. He's going to stay there, and you guys know what. Play. He needs to go home. Krishna became afraid and instead of going back home, he turned around to play with his friends again. Mother Yashoda scold, scolded his friends and told Krishna, My dear Krishna, do you think that you are a street boy with no home? I see your body is very dirty from playing since early, early morning. Like 2 a.m. 2 a.m. Just kidding. Like 10 a.m. 10 a.m. or something. But they've been playing all morning. They should be home by like two hours or one hour or just 30 minutes. They can't just play for like a whole day. They need to go home. Now come home and take your bath. Besides, today is your birthday and you should come and give away cows and charity to the Brahmana priests. You guys know what priests mean? 
they just sit down unconsciously and pray for weeks, years, years and years, and days and months, everything, all together. And since his birthday, they, he needs to give cows to the Brahmana priests. Oh, it became his birthday so fast. <laughs> then later you may go on playing. They're doing. They're making a wrong choice. He's been playing from early morning. He should be, should be home, sleeping or napping or doing something else. When the children finally came with her, Mother Yashoda took them home and gave them a good bath. That's what they deserve with all that mud on their body. Body. She dressed them very nicely in new clothes, jewels, other ornaments, and flower garlands. I wish I was Krishna. I want all that gold, all that, all those flowers, and he gets all those sweet, 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 sweet fruits, and uh, he's very strong. I'm not even strong. I can just punch something. <laughs> yes. Cows to them in charity to celebrate Krishna's birthday at home. One day. Because demons came to disturb the children so often, all the coward men decided to move with their families to a nice place near Vrindavana called Govardhan Hill. Govardhan Hill. So, um, actually, in one of the Krishna episodes I watched, there was this big wrapping storm, and Krishna somehow took his pinky and broke like. Um, cracked around Govardhan Hill. He went under it and lifted with his pinky. I know that's so strong, right? No kid can do that, but Krishna can. Everyone loaded all their belongings into carts. The old men, women, them all carrying bows and arrows and blowing on their horns and buckles. When they got there, they made a circle by keeping the carts all together. After seeing how beautiful Govardhana Hill was on the bank of the Yamuna River, they began to build their new home. So they're not gonna. So they're gonna build a new home with all the hammers and the tools they had. Uh, they didn't have electric tools that time, so they needed to get creative and use something to make it in. Yeah, that's what like he he needs to do. Like, there's no electric tools to drill or something. So she need they need to use uh, anything sharp or spiky that's around them to build their house. And yes, Govardhana Hill, right next to the Yamuna River. They don't have to walk all the way there. They just get up in the morning, walk sleepily there, and jump in. That's all they have to do. Oh yeah, the picture, guys. Here, see, uh, Krishna and Balarama with their mothers are there, and they're just riding to go for the hill, so that they can build their new homes. And when they sleepwalk, they just drop into the Yamuna River. There you go. See, you can see all the cards. Everybody, everybody is in the cards. They're all protected from the demon, the demon. Matsasura. So the next demon that is gonna come will be um, Bakasura. Bakura. Bakasura. Okay, guys. So let's continue. Krishna and Balarama were now old enough to take charge of the small calves. So along with the other little cowherd boys, they went to the fields with, the, with their cows. Sometimes they played on their flutes and sometimes they played ball with amlaki fruits. So those are like these fruits and they treat them as a ball. And they just throw it here and there and they just play, play, play. Sometimes they danced and made twinkling sounds with their ankle bells. So they have like ankle bells. Those are like Indians. They like ankle bells then you get bells on your ankles and then whenever you dance or move they will tinkle like like that 
Sometimes they pretended to be bulls and cows by covering themselves with blankets. Since they're coward boys, boys they do wild stuff. That's what they do. They cover themselves with blankets and act like bulls and calves and everything. And they play with their flute. Krishna's flute is delightful. Delightful. So, yeah, it's so good. I'm literally playing it right now. It's so delightful. That's why I need to say it, guys. And the picture to that pair is this. This one here. So you can see all the boys are playing, or should I say cowherd boys? The cowherd boys are just in like one team and they do stuff. They take care of the calves and everything. Well, it was literally just Krishna's birthday in the last phase show. He turned some age and now he's old enough to take care of the cows. Milk them, everything. So now the next pair is with the Bakasura stuff. Once when Krishna and Balarama played there, a, de a demon named Vatsasura turned himself into a small calf and walked with the other calves in the field. Kamsa's planning. Kamsa's planning. He told Vatsasura and to go kill his angel of death. So um, Kamsa's enemy is Krishna and he calls him the angel of death. That's what he calls him because he has killed almost all of the demons in the world. And his challenge right now is to kill Kamsa. That's his challenge. And now he's gonna kill Vatsasura in a snip. That's it. In a snip. He's gonna kill him. But Krishna saw this. Balarama, he said that is Vatsasura, not a real calf. Both brothers followed him and sneaked upon him. Krishna caught the demon calf by the two back le legs and tail whipped him around very hard and threw him up into a tree. So tail whip guys, it's like, um, so Krishna took the two legs of the calf, the back two legs of the calf and just whipped, whipped. Whipped, 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 whipped like that. Like a cow, a cow, a cowboy. Like he's gonna do this to catch the animal. He's gonna do this to do this. Yeah, so he, they, that's what he's doing to the calf, the demon calf. So demon calf, and he just throw him into a tree in a slip, in a snip. When the demon fell down from the top of the tree and lay dead on the ground, all Krishna's playmates called out, Well done, well done! And the demigods in the sky showered flowers with great satisfa satisfaction. So they, had, they have been inspired by Krishna's fighting. Yeah, like, they're all like, Yay! Hooray for Krishna! He killed the demon Vatsasura! Like that, and this one is like a cool picture. It's like drew, drawing, like drawing. You can see that, like, uh, Krishna is whipping but Sasura, like a cowboy. Yeah, you can see that. It's cool because, and also, it's in sketch, it's not in the picture printer. And, guys. Now it's time for Bakasura to come. Every day the coward boys went to the bank of the river Yanum, Yamuna to water their calves. The boys would drink water also. Because they worked so hard milking the calves and everything, they also need to get hydrated, right? And also, I don't think they're just going to drink. They're going to swim. That's what I think. They're not going to drink. They're going to swim. They're going to drink. And then go, just jump right in and swim. That's what I think. While drinking one day, they saw a huge animal moving slowly towards them. It looked something like a big duck and was as big as a hill. All the boys become very fearful. But Krishna or Balaram, they're going to kill him. 
just going to kill him. So, yeah, and it was very easy. So, yeah. The name of the beast was Bakasura, and he was a friend of the demon king Kansa. So, this was also Kamsa's plan. He sent that Bakasura to Krishna. Without warning, he attacked Krishna with his sharp beaks and swallowed him up. The boys become so terribly af afraid. They did not know what to do. Oh no! But no, oh no. Krishna, Bakasura clearly didn't chew him. He swallowed him. So he's still inside his mouth. So he can push as hard as he can. He can and what he does is that he's gonna get like hot, 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 hotter and hotter and Bakasura is gonna do something very disgusting. Bakasura felt a burning in his throat. Okay. Krishna was becoming hotter and hotter like his beaks. But Krishna was much faster and the demon bird, he caught hold of those great big beaks in front of all of his friends he broke open bakasura's mouth just as easily as any child would split a blade of grass i know guys that's like oh my god so clearly bakasura is a little bird so he's like a giant bird to say it clearly he's a really giant bird and he has big beaks. Those type of birds have very big beaks. And Bakasura is like, he eats a lot. A lot of those fish and stuff. But he eats a lot, lot, lot. Even if he's full, he's still hungry. It's He's kind of like that. And his tummy is like full of disgusting fish. Up in the sky, the demigods played music with bubbles, drums and conch shells and showered Jamili flowers, the sweetest smelling of all flowers. And the picture guys, the picture, picture. Here, you can see that's the demon, Bakasura. And Krishna just killed him in a snap with this. Snap, snap, snap. Just three snaps, he's killed. He's very strong, you guys, and yeah, and look, like, all of, like, look, I don't know, this is one of Krishna's friends, and he's, like, tired. He's, like, fainted, like, oh my god, this demon Bakasura ate Krishna. I know, right? It's really cool. But he defeats him. He's never, he's the strongest, of course. And guys, that's the end of our sixth chapter. And I hope you guys liked that chapter. It was really interesting. My favorite part of it was um, when he killed the Bakasura, when he opened his mouth, like just cracked open his mouth like that. That was a good very good part. I like that part. And also it was very interesting and I liked it. And guys, make sure to check on all those video, other videos that are going to be popping up and stories. And make sure to subscribe a million times, put a 3,000 likes so that I can get a big studio and do everything, okay? Just, okay? Bye. And yeah, and have a great day. And I hope you guys learn a lot from the book.